Essexville Garber has the only chance of carrying Bay City area's rich football tradition into the coming playoffs this year, but it will go down to the wire for the Dukes. John Radigan reports. On Friday, Essexville Garber became the first school to ever win two consecutive Twin Valley Conference championships. To that end, Coach Ed Harvey credits his team's strong work ethic. This year, they've worked uh, harder than any group we've ever had. Uh, they're dedicated, uh, and most of all, they want to win. And I think those qualities uh, let us represent our community quite well. With just one game left to play, the 8-0 Dukes also have a great chance to make the playoffs for the second year in a row. One thing's got to happen. We've got to beat Eisenhower in order to get in. Uh, the second thing uh, is going to come down to our league and our opponents. And uh, Friday night we'll be lighting some candles and getting the radio station and finding out uh, just exactly uh, who won. Garber is pushing hard toward a goal that every high school football coach and player dream of playing in a state championship. That's what we always dream of, uh, not only as coaches, but players uh, getting in the dome. And uh, that's something that we all work for. Uh, we want to win the league first, then go 9-0, and uh, then uh, we start our second season. So the Dukes are practicing hard for Eisenhower this week because the seniors on this club have never even scored a touchdown against the commander. We must now wait until the computerized playoff points are tabulated before knowing if they will make it. But the uh, Dukes did their part tonight with a 34-0 win over Saginaw Eisenhower. John Radigan was there. All-state candidate Bill Bedore scored three touchdowns, including this 35-yarder in the third quarter, and set the Garber all-time rushing record with 1,433 yards this season as he led the Dukes past Saginaw Eisenhower. The Dukes, who didn't even score a touchdown on Eisenhower a year ago, staged an impressive offensive showing. Here, quarterback Kevin Spencer found Jeff Jacobs to help set the table for Chris Forrett, who fought for five yards, six points, and a 34-point Garber shutout. In Essexville, I'm John. That is Wild Willie Winsicki of Garber. Love the haircut. Garber went 9-0. Bill Bedore dives over from the one. He had 1,433 yards on the year, 24 touchdowns. Later, Garber led 18-0. Kevin Spencer back to throw, going long. Jeff Jacobs inside the five-yard line, and it set up another Garber-Duke touchdown over Eisenhower tonight. Spencer gives to Chris Fort, goes in.